I am highly offended. Uh, so I've always heard people say, be careful what you wish for, you just might get it. Every time I was at the depth of despair, the end of my rope during my six and a half, seven years as a heroin addict, I would tell myself, this has to stop. Got to find a way out of here. And I would hope and I'd pray and I'd put that out into the universe. And every time the universe would answer by sending the damn cops. <laughs> and every time I would sit in some county jail and I would say, hey, thank you so much, universe. This, this, right, this is exactly what I needed right here. No, I'm just kidding. That's not what I was saying. So. Anyways, the last time I went through this was December 2nd, 2016. I have not used drugs since, and for that I am truly grateful. That day my prayer was answered in the form of a tactical squad that arrived at my apartment. <laughs> they caught me uh, trying to open the second story bedroom window, uh, thwarting my plan to drop down into an alleyway and slip out the back. They were driving me to jail, and one of these guys, they asked me, uh, they go, yo, man, were, were you really going to jump out of that window? And I was like, what? No, no, I just needed a little air. You know, just open it. <laughs> the other guy sitting on the passenger side, he said, uh, so are you really some kind of doctor or something? And I responded, yeah, something like that. I'm sure he was asking me because at the time I looked like I was an extra from The Walking Dead and he was like, I had to pull the wrong file or something like that, you know. He said, uh, he said something I'll never forget. He said, uh, he said, man, you need to get yourself together. You could be helping a lot of people. <clears throat> so as I stand before you all today, I'd like to say thanks, officer, whatever your name is. <laughs> Ten years ago, I was a successful graduate student at UT Austin. I was a young neuroscientist and a musician. I just released my first solo album. I was playing shows every other week or so. Um, I just entered final candidacy for my doctorate. I enjoyed these areas of my life immensely, but I always had this nagging feeling like I was missing something. Uh, I was stressed out all the time. I just didn't feel at home in my own skin. I had a breakthrough during the final project I was working on for my PhD. I demonstrated that I severed nerves could be fused back together using this polymer that I had been working with for years. Uh, I demonstrated that you could do this in, uh, in living mammals um, and that function could be restored. And this was a big deal that had never been done before. The results were impressive. I wrote the paper and I sent it off to a good journal. The scientist I had been working with for most of my adult life uh, took my work and uh, published it under his name in a different journal uh, and removed me from the patent that uh, we had secured for the procedure. Um, so we had had a falling out and he actually told me uh, uh, that I didn't deserve it. So uh, what, what happened next is, is really difficult for me to explain to people um, because I guess people handle things differently. Um, but for me, uh, the, the best way I could summarize it is I, I just gave up on myself, and I gave up on life. Um, my only drive was to obliterate uh, all my feelings, and I sought escape in heroin. For the next seven years, I was basically lost. Uh, I struggled to find my way out of the darkness, homelessness, jails, rehabilitation centers, 12-step programs, relapse after relapse. My life was in chaos. I couldn't see it at the time, but my addiction was a result of my inability to cope with a way of living that was very unhealthy for somebody like me. The last time I knew I was, uh, or this last time I knew I was going beyond just county jail for a week or a few weeks, I knew I was, I was gonna be locked up for a minute. Um, so uh, I was sent to a prison rehabilitation unit uh, way out in Breckenridge, Texas. Uh, <laughs> and I would be uh, locked up for almost a year. I decided to try and find myself and my willpower and to give life a try again. I did more internal work during that time than I've ever done in my entire life. Uh, and here's what I found. I spent my whole life looking outside of myself to get some measure of my self-worth. What did my life look like compared to others? 
Was my latest project well received? What did that person really mean when they said this or that to me? This is an excellent way to build a life that runs on fear, anxiety, and superficiality. Living this way pushed me more and more to look for ways to escape what I was feeling. At the time, I was busy trying to please everyone around me, and I had this crazy notion that if I could make everyone else happy, that I would be happy too. I was neglecting my own soul, suppressing my own inner voice. Escape was all I had left. And then even that stopped working. Finally, I was incarcerated long enough that I had nothing but time to sit with my own failure and contemplate what it meant to me. What was driving me to run all this time, to make the same poor decisions? What was my drug addiction really about? What were the common threads underlying my lack of healthy boundaries, my people pleasing, and all the other things that created this mess I now found myself in? I stopped looking outside myself and I started looking within. I started practicing greater self-awareness and mindfulness, and I started seeing these little lessons in everything around me. What if this huge failure didn't have to be a failure at all? So in prison, I would sit and meditate uh, looking out of this window. I'd watch the sunset to the right of these three trees that were lined up in the yard. The tree on the left was totally dead and barren. Uh, looked like it had been for some time. The middle one was alive and well, and the one on the right was lush and thriving. <laughs> one day the sun was setting and I was there meditating and the symbolism hit me in a profound way. I was looking at my past, my present, and my future. Within a week of this meditation, they chopped down the dead tree on the left. I knew at that point that the work I had done was profound, and I took this as a sort of symbolic confirmation. I no longer had to feel haunted by my past. <coughs> my journey through all of this has led me to something I never had before, a genuine sense of self-worth that comes from within. And that looks more like success to me than anything I've ever known. Thank you.